Stand by shore party. Decontamination in progress. Logged. The commanding officer is aboard. Exo Presley stands relieved. before? Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way, but CSEC, you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Being a Spectre does have its advantages. Exactly my point. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder, well, maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. If getting the job done means endangering innocent people, then no. We get the job done right, not fast. Got it? I wasn't trying to. I understand, Commander. How are you? Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? Hmm. That's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. That's tough, but you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash, too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger, for the same reasons. You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power with no accountability. He wouldn't like you, Commander. No offense. I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not gonna play by our rules. C-Sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Just because you can break the rules doesn't mean you should. I don't need to stoop to Saren's level to stop him. And neither do you, Garrus. I see what you mean, but... I'll think about it. Thanks, Commander. Commander, good to see you. You've been with CSEC a while. Have you seen much action? 
Well, not as much as you, but yeah, I've seen some really interesting things. I bet you have. Anything in particular that stands out? I remember this Solarian geneticist I was sent to investigate. That case was a bit disturbing. What happened? Why were you investigating them? I was tasked with tracking black market trade on the Citadel. Most of it harmless, nothing I needed to pursue. But during the course of my investigation, I noticed an increase in the trade of body parts, organs mostly. We usually get a few of those, but not the numbers I was seeing. We weren't sure if there was a new black market lab or if some freak was harvesting organs from citizens. You've seen this before on the Citadel? Every so often, some lab sells unwanted parts through the black market, but they're not as bad as the psychos. I remember this one Elcor diplomat we caught in my first year on the job. He was hacking people up and selling their organs, had the station in a bit of a panic. But this case wasn't that clear cut. Turns out there was more going on than we first realized. So how did you figure out what was happening? First, we got a hold of a sample and ran DNA tests. The weird thing was, the match led us to a Turian who was still alive and was very convinced he'd never lost his liver. After a bit of digging, I discovered this Turian worked briefly for Dr. Salion, the geneticist. So I went to his lab hoping to find evidence of cloned organ development, but there was nothing. No Salarian hearts, no Turian livers, not one Krogan testicle. What did you do about the geneticist? I brought in some of his employees for interrogation, to see if I could get them to talk. While I was interviewing one of them, I came across something suspicious. Yeah? Go on. One of my detainees started bleeding profusely during the interview. We offered to patch him up and he got frantic, freaked out. I ordered a full exam to find out what was going on. Our medics found incisions all over his body, some of them fresh. That was our big break. These people weren't just Dr. Salion's employees. They were test tubes. Walking, living test tubes. He was growing parts inside these people? Exactly. He cloned their organs right inside their own bodies. Then he harvested them and sold them off. Most of the victims were poor. He'd pay them each a small percentage of the sales, but only if the organs were good. Sometimes an organ wouldn't grow properly, so he'd just leave it in them. Most of them were a mess, but only on the inside, hidden so nobody could see it. I hope he got what he deserved. That's the worst part. We never caught him. Why not? What the hell happened? He ran, blew his lab, grabbed some of his employees, and headed for the nearest space dock. By the time I found out, his ship was already leaving. He threatened to kill his hostages if we tried to stop him. But you went after him anyway, right? I ordered Citadel Defense to shoot him down, but CSEC headquarters countermanded my order. They were worried about the hostages, worried about civilian casualties if the ship was destroyed so close to the Citadel. I told them those hostages were dead anyway. He just used them to make more organs. But they wouldn't listen. Well, you can't get them all. No, but... Letting him get away like that. All they had to do was disable that ship, stop him from running. Maybe the hostages die, maybe they don't, but at least we stopped the bastard responsible for it all. I suppose I can see both sides. But what's done is done. I suppose. Can't waste too much time worrying about it now. Just wish I could have stopped him. That's all. Do you have any idea what happened to Dr. Salion? I sent out feelers from time to time, hoping to find something. I thought I'd found him a while back. He changed ships and changed his name to Dr. Hart, his idea of a joke, I guess. I told the military, but they weren't convinced it was him. I got the transponder frequency for his new ship, but I just can't get anyone to check it out. I'll check out the coordinates when I get a chance. I was hoping you'd say that. But Commander, take me with you when you go. If it's Salion, I want to be there when you find him.
Thank you. Thank you for saving me from those things. Commander, that's him. That's Dr. Saleon. What? My name is Hart. Dr. Hart. Please, get me out of here. Are you sure it's him? Positive. There's no escape this time, Doctor. I'd harvest your organs first, but we don't have the time. You're crazy. He's crazy! Please, don't let him do this to me. Put him out of his misery so we can get going. Gladly. Your days of butchering are over, Doctor. No! Please! Please! I smell trouble! That was... satisfying. Good. Remember that feeling. That's how it should be. I will, Commander. Well, I guess we're done here. <laughs>